Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Open Your Pantry, Show Us Your Drawers. In this video, we're going to show you how to keep your fingers on your hands. But first, we sober up. One of the important things to know when you're first starting out with a knife is how to properly hold your blade. Uh, this is called a pinch grip. You pinch your index finger and your thumb on either side of your blade just past the handle, and then you wrap your fingers around the handle. Your index finger will naturally curve, just make sure it's not past and straight past your blade. This gives you a nice straight alignment and uh, keeps your hand and your wrist and your elbow all in a line, so it gives you a good amount of control and a good amount of pressure as opposed to with your finger. You try and cutting like this for a length of time and your hand is going to get worn out very quickly. So, good pinch grip gives you good control. Alright, so now that y'all know how to properly hold your blade, we're going to teach you how to properly hold your ingredient that you're cutting to keep your fingers on your hands. Alright, so the best way I learned to describe this effectively was when I was working with a kids cooking camp through a company called Radish Kids. If you want your kids to make you dinner once in a while, sign up for their subscription boxes. They send a little kit with recipes and a tool and really easy to follow instructions. So all you have to do is supervise and it gets everybody involved in making dinner and it's a great learning tool for your kids. So that's Radish Kids, R-A-D-D-I-S-H-K-I-D-S dot com. Fantastic company. If you've ever watched anyone who cooks professionally, you'll notice they hold their hands in a very particular manner when they're cutting things. At Radish we called this spider fingers because it looks like a spider running across your cutting board. You don't want to hold your hands like a squid because then it puts your fingertips in jeopardy of getting chopped off. So if you hold your hands like a spider, then it keeps your knuckles between your blade and your fingertips and you never have to worry about losing that, that tip. And then that just walks across your food as you cut. When you get to the end, if all you can hold is with your thumb, just make sure you have a good bend in that knuckle and it's the same exact thing. So we're starting with slices. When you slice something, you're going to start at the top of your blade and use a nice rocking motion downwards. You go across your blade, up towards your hand, and it gives you a nice clean cut and gives you good forward motion, good control. And then you can take those slices and you turn them sideways and then turn them into matchsticks. So using that same motion of that forward rock, slice nice and clean through. So you have these cute little matchsticks. And then to turn the matchsticks into a dice, you just turn them sideways again and dice them up. So you have these perfect little cubes. So someone specifically asked me how to cut onions, so we're going to do a quick demonstration on how to do that. The way I described it to the kids was onions have a mohawk and they have a butthole. You cut off the mohawk and you cut off the butthole, and then you stand it on the flat end and slice it straight down. So now you have a flat surface to cut on, so it's not rolling around everywhere. Then it makes it real easy to peel the outer layers off. And you can save that outer skin to make chicken stock or vegetable stock. It's a really nice thing to keep, as long as it's not all rotten and squishy. And then, when I'm going to cut it, it's got a grain. So just like a piece of wood, you follow the grain the first time and you kind of angle your knife so that it, it follows your circle. Cut your grain and then just cut against the grain. So we'll take that piece out. Cut against the grain so then you go crosswise. And again, keep them with your good spider fingers. You won't have to worry about losing fingertips. And now you have a nice dice. I've seen people try and learn how to cut onions cutting this way. If your blade isn't sharp, you're more likely to cut your hand than you are the onion. So skip all of that, just cut it with the grain, and then against the grain for a nice clean dice. Last thing I'm going to show you all is a fine chop or a mince. That's when you want a very small product such as garlic or shallots or onions to be very very small and fine. So the way you're going to hold your knife is the same pinch grip. You're just going to put your hand on top of the blade. Make sure your fingers are all flat and not wilting. Because if they wilt, then you have the possibility of chopping off a fingertip. So fingers on top 
and you're gonna move from the tip of your blade up and down and just go in a in a fan motion so in this direction and then you're just gonna take your blade across your product over and over and over again and then squish it all back together and take it over again and squish it all back together until you get a very small fine chop. Thanks for joining us on this beautiful sunny day. I hope this makes you a little more comfortable with the blade. Uh, if you'd like to put these skills to use, subscribe to our YouTube channel, open your pantry, show us your drawers. We'll have some more cooking content on there very shortly and give us a watch. We'll see you then. Things they got this mohawk and then they got a butthole. And you want to cut the mohawk off. <laughs>